The following is a discussion on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 6th chapter, text number 20 through 25, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 23, 1976, at the New Vrindavan Farm Community. But the Shakti, the energy is coming from the Shakti. This is here, we find this place is shadow. Hmm? And that place is sunshine. Both these places are due to the sun. When there is no sun, there is no such distinction. So this is shining, sunny, and this is shadow. So this distinction is there. So long we do not know the real source. But if we know the real source, we can understand that this distinction is temporary. Actually, uh, the energy is coming from the Supreme. So, Shadow has come from Supreme, and light has also come from Supreme. So there is no distinction, ultimately. Just like earring ring, golden, manufactured from gold, and the gold which is not manufactured, so this distinction, manufacturer and non-manufacturer, secondary, but really the earring is also gold, and the lump of gold is also gold. So why should we say that earring is false? It is also gold. In relationship with the Supreme Source, Janmadha Sajata, there is no such distinction. In another place, why Vaisya was instructed by Narod, he said, Idangi Vishram Bhagavan Ivetara. This Vishra, Blat Rup is also Bhagavan, but it appears a different from me. Just like the shadow appears different from the sun. <coughs> but actually, taking the central point of emanation, it is different manifestation. Of Three, there are so many varieties. One is trunk, one is branch, one is twig, one is leaf, one is... So the varieties are there, but the tree is one, the root. So ultimately, there is no variety, only one. Saddam Khalidam Brahma. The difference is, the Mahavadis, they abruptly say everything is one. Not everything is one. The trunk is not one with the leaf. But ultimately, because the root is the cause, so there is no difference between the trunk and the leaf. This is Asin Sambhidavya. Simultaneously, one and different. On the whole, everything is the Supreme Personality of God. Maya Tatamidam Sadvam Jagad Abhaksam Masani Sarabhutani Nam Tesya Vakta. Oh, 
why should we think this world is mitha when it is created by God? Does God create anything false? No. When it is created by God, there's no question. When we think that I create some business, some factory, uh, that is my pleasure. But if somebody else thinks it, it is for his pleasure, that is my The world is created by God. He has got some motive. So in the world, cosmic manifestation is utilized for his purpose, then it is spiritual. Otherwise, it is In the seventh canto, um, the second volume, the first chapter in that volume, Lord Maharaj is talking how the um, studying of the three Vedas uh, is external and it includes knowledge, though, of uh, education and self-realization. But he considers it material because it's external study of the Vedas. I don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Everything external is material. <laughs> Self-realization is included in that list of education and self-realization and other items. Yes, self-realization, simply understanding I'm not this matter, is also external because there is chance of fall down. But when you are actually engaged in business, that is positive platform of self-realization. Different stages of self-development. Sometimes Shiva Prabhupada, when we explain that our activity is spiritual, what we are doing is spiritual, just like we say the quality of the tape recorder becomes spiritualized when it's used in Krishna service. The materials they don't understand, they say, well, the tape recorder will also break, the tapes will also be burned up sometimes. That's all right. It will go to this time. Break in, where it will go? Hmm? So they say the chemicals again become That's chemical. chemical. Where it will go? Everything is created from Krishna, again it returns to Krishna. Then they say that we need to play Krishna conscious music, we might as well play rock and roll, if it is going back to Krishna. And that is mine. This is meant for Krishna's service. As soon as you do anything else, then it is Maya. Maya is also Krishna's wife. May we just have to know me. No more Maya. Maya is also Krishna. That's under Maya we suffer, under Krishna in God. So if we engage everything here in Krishna's service, then the atmosphere will change. Yeah. They can notice the change in the atmosphere. That is the other. The European of our city. Mukti means to stay in the original form. I heard the amusing example that the spirit has form and therefore the body uh, also has similar form, just as a hand has a form and a glove, which the hand has similar form. So how can uh, we understand that the trees have a certain form that is their spirit and the form of a tree? No. And how do we explain the transmigration of soul? Well, this outward is the form. When 
tell you to do this. This stuff. Of course, this human body has a has a human form. You say because this body has a form, the soul also must have form. No. Talking about the transmigration. Just as the the glove has a certain form because the hand is shaped like that. Mm. The material body of the human has that form because the spirit is in that form. And the tree has that form because the spirit is in that form? Your difficulty is that the form is fixed up. Yeah. Hmm. That is enough. Because Krishna appears in so many forms. Hmm. Everything is fixed up. Well, the form in the spiritual sky is uh, not uh, absolute either. Uh, we can take different forms in the spiritual sky. Yes, there are also many forms, but all of them are spiritual. The Vindama, there is sea, there is Yamuna water, there is land, there is cow, there is stuff. There is ropes, gopis, and they are all fish. Just mm-hmm. like from art, he made many forms. But that art, he made pots, he made dolls, he made. But they are all art. Similarly, spiritual world, there are many forms, they are all fish. Very good, very does that form ever change? Hmm? That form changes? Or yes. Krishna is young and then he's hmm. a little older. Generally does not change. One likes this type of form. Santo Dasara, Sokha Vakshara That change is available to anyone to progress hmm. from Shanta to Dharma. That change is not material change. The spiritual bliss is there, either in this form or that. You said that if we serve Krishna, we will enjoy, and if we serve Maya, then we suffer. How can we get over our uh, desire to serve Maya and enjoy separately from Krishna? When we, in the material world, when we try to enjoy, we suffer. In the material, where we suffer, when we try to enjoy, we suffer. <coughs> and how we get over our desire, and when we serve Krishna, we become happy. But how will we get over our desire to serve Maya? Detachment is strong. Mm-hmm. He said, how will we get over the desire to serve Maya, to try to enjoy ourselves in this material world? Have Krishna. It says here that young labdva chaparam labam manyante nadikam tataha. One obtaining <coughs> the actual service of Krishna, when one tastes the service of Krishna, then he sees any other gain. He does not consider anything else. Established thus one departs from the truth, and upon gaining this he thinks there is no greater gain. So when you actually taste the service of Krishna, then you won't consider anything else to be worthy of your effort. But in, 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 when we do think something else to be worthy of our effort, then it means that we haven't, we're not really becoming advanced in Krishna consciousness, we're not developing. We should try to develop to that point. We have to develop, probably said this is the, ta- the test of Krishna consciousness that he will not want to depart from Krishna consciousness to enjoy himself in material nature. And when one still wants to do that, that means he hasn't advanced to that point of stability in Krishna consciousness. Dhridavrata, who's 
completely fixed in his service of us to be the best and when it's situated there he doesn't, de- he doesn't depart from there he doesn't want to go out from there and we have to reach that point If at this platform we are not yet, we are still um, desiring to be, depart from Krishna's service and enjoy, and uh, then we are not, we have not yet tasted devotional service. What is it um, that we have tasted that is keeping us um, temporarily connected to Krishna? That is the Vedic injunction is keep yourself connected with Krishna, then we will develop the test. Just like jaundice patient does not taste sugar as sweet, but if he continues to take sugar candy, then he will have the real taste of sugar candy, sweet, not bitter, because he has to continue to eat sugar candy continuously, samanam kirtan. Then he has to take. But the patient must be intelligent to keep, even though he does not want. Patient to. is always a scale fool. You cannot expect him to come. <coughs> he must agree to the physician direction. That is it. He must know that he is diseased. He must follow the instruction of the physician. That much will help. Unless one is rascal, he does not fall sick. As soon as you violate the hygienic principle, he becomes sick. One commits sinful activities on account of ignorance. So therefore, the best advancement of civilization is not to open hospitals, but to give them a lesson so they may not fall sick and go to hospital. That is real, but they do not. They keep the mass of people in ignorance. They fall sick and they come to hospital. A number of hospitals increase their thing it is that all. This is their idea. So even the Christian religious person, they also open hospital to give relief to the patient. And that is not uh, the program. The program is why he should be fall sick and come to the hospital. Precaution is better than cure. One comes to the hospital for cure, but why not take the precaution so that he may not have to come to the hospital for cure? That is Vedic Sri. They have different prescribed rules and regulations so that a person may not fall sick. The modern idea is that let them fall sick. We have got hospitals and treat him. And he is cured. But he is cured, again he falls sick. That is the way. We have no program for precaution. We have program for cure. But actually, precaution is better than cure. We are taking precaution. So other fools, rascals are thinking, what this people are doing? We have no hospital. We have no this program according to them. 
prescribed our Vivatananda, he prescribed Dharita Narayan Seva. The same thing, hospital. He killed one animal and the hospital patient is given the meat for improvement of the health. But he does not know that this is not curing, he is becoming implicated in his karma. And he has to be killed again and eaten by the other animal. That he does not. They do not accept form of all. Hmm? The result of free activity, he said, do not accept. But you have to accept. There is no excuse. If you contaminate some disease, you must suffer from the disease. There is no excuse. Then uh, uh, we are for more. We have to enjoy and suffer the result of karma, karma-bandhana. But when you act for Krishna, then you are mukta. The death of karma, anatya karma, karma must be there. If you act for Krishna, then it is all right. And if you act for your sense gratification, then there is bondage. If you do not take education, if you remain fools and rascal, then you will suffer and create disturbance for other self. Therefore, everyone must be educated, good citizen. Be good for him, good for others. So, God is. So, Nishchayena yokta vyo, yogo nirvinna chetasa, sankalpa prabhavan kamang, yaktva sarvan asheshataha, manastai vindriya gramam viniyamya samantataha. Translation One should engage oneself in the practice of yoga with undeviating determination and faith. One should abandon without exception all material desires born of false ego and thus control all the senses on all sides by the mind. PURPORT The yoga practitioner should be determined and should patiently prosecute the practice without deviation. One should be sure of success at the end and pursue this course with great perseverance, not becoming discouraged if there is any delay in the attainment of success. Success is sure for the rigid practitioner. Regarding Bhakti Yoga, Rupa Goswami says, Utsaha nishtaya dharyat tat tat karma pravartanat sangat tyagat sato vritte shadbir bhakti prasidhyati. Quotation. Quote, the process of bhakti yoga can be executed successfully with full hearted enthusiasm, perseverance, and determination by following the prescribed duties in the association of devotees and by engaging completely in activities of goodness. Unquote. As for determination, one should follow the example of the sparrow who lost her eggs in the waves of the ocean. A sparrow laid her eggs on the shore of the ocean, but the big ocean carried away the eggs on its waves. The sparrow became very upset and asked the ocean to return her eggs. The ocean did not even consider her appeal, so the sparrow decided to dry up the ocean. She began to pick out the water in her small beak, and everyone laughed at her for her impossible determination. The news of her activity spread, and at last Garuda, the gigantic bird carrier of Lord Vishnu, heard it. He became compassionate toward his small sister bird, and so he came to see the sparrow. Garuda was very pleased by the determination of the small sparrow, and he promised to help. Thus Garuda at once asked the ocean to return her eggs, lest he himself take up the work of the sparrow. The ocean was frightened at this, and returned the eggs. Thus the sparrow became happy by the grace of Garuda. Similarly, the practice of yoga, especially bhakti yoga in Krishna consciousness, 
may appear to be a very difficult job, but if anyone follows <coughs> the principles with great determination, the Lord will surely help, for God helps those who help themselves. No, but... Hmm. So is there ever, for someone whose determination wavers and slackens here and there, is there ever a point where uh, the neophyte devotee is in danger of just forgetting everything and falling, tumbling completely back? Everyone is neophyte. You should practice, determine it. But if you cannot practice, then why should you enter into this associate? Let him remain. Let him. One who has entered with the determination that I must practice. So if he cannot practice, then why this makes sure that I belong to Krishna consciousness movement? I am initiated. Why this? But he must practice. He determines that by practicing I will be successful. That is one. He has no determination. Why should he make it so? <coughs> Dirabhata. Bhajan te vam dirabhata. Dirabhata. That is what. Determination. When one is determined, his success is sure. It is not determined, uh, success or failure. Can one develop determination gradually? Quite gradually. When you promise before your spiritual master that no illicit sex, no gambling, no meat eating, why should you fall down? If there is no deep determination, how should we promise in presence of the deity, fire, spiritual master, Vaishnava? Why do you make this fuss? If you have no determination, if you want to make it a fuss, that depends on you. But you should not. When we make that promise, um... Yes, you should not fall down. That is determination. That is gentleman's determination. That I have given my promise. How shall I call that? But that is determination. I must respect the promise. That is called Virabhat. So he is accepted. There is a difficulty. There is no difficulty. But if we want to cheat, there is another. If we have no determination, we should not take up this land. Therefore, chance is given that stay with us for six months or one year, be determined, then be initiated. If you are not determined, what is the use of false initiation? Sometimes it's weakness. Um, the weakness helps to rectify weakness. Why is give any importance to weakness? Weakness is weakness, rectify it. This promise is the minimum determination. Hmm? This promise of following four regular defenseless chanting sixteen hours a day, that is minimum determination. Then from there it must increase. Initiation means minimum, just beginning. That is the dictionary meaning, initiation. In the Chaitanya Chaitanya there is a bhāsa. Sadhā, sabde, vishā, sudhira, nishcā, krishna, bhakti, kaila, sarva, karma, kṛtaha. Explain. You understand? Sadhā. Of the Vishas, Sudira, Nishcha, Krishna, Bhakti, Koile, Sarva, Parma, Kitaha. 
the word the word uh, shraddha means faith. So by the word faith, you need a firm determination or conviction. Shraddha uh, shabde vishvas sudrida nishchoy. Vishvasa means faith, which is sudrida very <coughs> sudrida. Dridha means firm, and sudrida means very firmly nishchoy. Nishchoy is used here also. So nishchayena yokta vyok. <coughs> the yoga is to be engaged in, applied with firm uh, faith. With faith, nishchay means conviction. Mm. Conviction. Uh, Krishna bhakti koyle. Uh, Krishna bhakti koyle uh, sevak uh, kuta karma. Karma karma kuta hai. Karma kuta hai. And if one engages, if one performs uh, service to Krishna, then everything else becomes accomplished. Mm. Everything else becomes accomplished. If one renders service to Krishna, then automatically everything else, one has no obligations to the material world. Otherwise, why Krishna is say, Sarvadharman Purishtadya Mahami Kang Saranangul? Because by that action, everything will be done. Krishna says, Sarvadharman Mahami Kang. That is main, he is cheating. There are so many other occupations. Say, Veda dharma, Samaja dharma, Brahman dharma, Patriya dharma, Medical dharma, Lawyer dharma. You can manufacture so many. Dharma means occupation and duties. But if you take only one occupational duty to serve Krishna, all things will be into Mami Kamsarvam. This is important. So, to accept this principle means firm determination, firm conviction. Yes, if I serve Krishna, then all my other duties will be automatically done. This is firm conviction. By one stroke, I will kill so many birds. Anartha Nirvati? Hmm? If Goswami says, Bhajana Kriya, then Anartha Nirvati. Hmm. And all the unwanted things. So. That's all beginning with Krishna Bhakti Kaila, Sarva Karma Kriya. So Bhakti, beginning, is Adho Sadhya Adho Sadhya Sangha. Bhajana Kriya. <coughs> the material world means simply creating unnecessary duties. Simply. Or not. Any, any material activities you take, analyze, it is simply useless. Therefore, they are called anatta. Anatta nivitishya. Take for example, we say, no meeting. What is the difficulty there? I have seen in the airplane, they eat meat, a little piece, not a lump. But because everyone is eating little, little, we require huge number of slaughterhouses. But if one decides, uh, <coughs> I have got so many preparation to eat. So why shall I eat little um, beef? I read it. Said before God. Immediately he said from so many simple activities. It is not that he will die. If he does not eat a little piece of meat, he will die. He will not die. We are not dying. We don't care. Similarly, everyone. Without it, eating meat, he can live very nicely. Hmm. There is a four principles, there is no difficulty. But on these four principles, the whole world is merged into sinful activity. That is called on earth, unnecessary. That is material to be. Unnecessarily creating trouble. There is no necessity. 
But on account of ignorance, foolish associations seem to lie more and more, more and more going on. And the leaders encourage, yes, we do this. Enjoy life. What is this enjoyment? If anyone sees sweater house, will he enjoy? Hmm. Is, hmm. And is it a sweater house? Is it enjoy? But he takes it in there. This column of unnecessary, without any meaning. Mad, just like a madman acts without any meaning. A monkey acts without any meaning. This column of unnecessarily creating disturbance. Come up, 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 if you take to Krishna consciousness, then anatha will be finished. Anatha and Evitisha. They are no more interested, they are unnecessary things. Illicit sex. One side they are encouraging uh, contraceptive method. So why not stop illicit sex? Then automatically there is contraceptive method. So one side they will encourage contraceptive method, unlimited, unrestricted sex. This is their civilization. Why not teaching not to practice illicit sex? Then everything is done automatically. There is no need of contraception. If one is trained up to uh, indulge in sex only for begetting nice children, then there is already contraception. There is no necessity of unnecessarily producing cats and dogs still. So that requires training, determination. The so Shastra says, you should not become a father if you cannot train up your children to save him from death. Who is the father? Who is training? To save him from the cycle of birth and death means to make him Krishna conscious. So if you are not yourself Krishna conscious, how you can train up your children to become Krishna conscious? This is determination. But if I cannot train my children to become Krishna conscious and thus it, uh, I want to avoid the botheration of birth and death. I shall not uh, have sex. That determination will save so many troubles. But that can be done by practice, by engaging the mind in Krishna with his forces. The more you advance in Krishna consciousness, you lose interest in this sex life. 
In Bhaitunta there is no sex life. It all. The sex pleasure is not the foremost pleasure in the Bhaitunta. The sex pleasure is foremost here in this material. They have got so much transcendental spiritual pleasure, this sex pleasure, they are astonished. Is that pleasure? Jajavadi, Mama, Chakura, Krishna, Padara, Vinda, Navanava, Dhamma. That stage is possible. Stage there are some of Brahmachari. Everything depends on practice. Abhyasa Yoga Yuktena. That requires determination. When we turn to his um, Baru, his natural form, um, how do you... Kastama Lama Pranivitti. You are accustomed to so many bad habits. First of all, try to rectify it, then talk of Sarup. Where is your Sarup? Simply wasting time. The man is diseased. He is thinking, and I shall be cured, I shall eat, go to this hotel, I shall eat like this. First of all, cure. Then talk of eating this and that. Sarup. And you are cured, that is true. So long you are not cured, well, what is the use of talking? Saru. That business is curious. Anathani vitti, that is anathani. Then Saru will come. That is a Babaji in Vindavan he has said, Siddha Pranayi. To the pronouncement of the day. Well, smoking and having illicit sex with one dozen of women is sarup. Raskas. This is called sahaja. Raskas. Condemned. What is your sarup? Don't talk unnecessarily. First of all, come to sarup, then talk of sarup. So our motivation should be to get free from birth, disease, or anything else. That is already explained. But we must be determined how to execute devotional service. Without determining devotional service, how we can attain that position? What is the use of talking? Utopian. First business is anathanavati. <coughs> Adho Siddhya Tato Sadha Sangha Asa Bhajana Kriya Tato Anatya Nibhiti. He adopts this name that he have got full faith that Krishna consciousness will save me. Then you leave with devotees who are similarly determined. Then you execute devotional service, then Anatya Nibhiti. He will be free from all this. These are the stages. There is up to anatha nivitti you have to struggle very hard to determine. And then automatically everything will come. Tato nishtha, tato rishi, tata shakti, tato ava. So before sarva, again, anatha nivitti, don't expect all this. Shanaihi, shanai rupa ramet, Buddhya dhriti grihi taya atma sangstam manah kritva nakim cheda pichin tayet. This is practice. Translation. Gradually, step by step, with full conviction, one should become situated in trance by means of intelligence, and thus the mind should be fixed on the self alone and should think of nothing else. Purport. By proper conviction and intelligence, one could, should gradually cease sense activities. This is called pratyahara. The mind being controlled by conviction, meditation, and cessation of the senses should be situated in trance or samadhi. 
At that time there is no longer any danger of becoming engaged in the material conception of life. In other words, although one is involved with matter, as long as the material body exists, one should not think about sense gratification. One should think of no pleasure aside from the pleasure of the Supreme Self. This state is easily attained by directly practicing Krishna consciousness. Before you said the patient has no intelligence. That's what he requires, in some master guidance, because he's rested. What is the use of accepting the spiritual master? If you want to be cured independently, what is the use of calling a physician, consulting a physician? You do it yourself. Yes, ma'am. The difficulty is that we cannot understand, we cannot feel what pleases Krishna now, yet we can feel what pleases us, and, and it, that, is, that is the difficulty? We have no feeling that everyone knows. Therefore you have to carry out the order of spiritual mind. That's all. We try to, to please Krishna with all of our service and activities, but automatically bring pleasure to the self? You cannot please Krishna directly. You please your spiritual master, Krishna will be pleased. If you want to please directly Krishna, that is not possible. There is corn cops. You cannot please. That is not possible. You have to please your spiritual master. Don't be nice. Don't jump. Guru Mukha Pambu Vakka Chitrita Kuriya Vakka. What is that? Sound? Then there is sin. What is that? The words, by the words of the spiritual master, our mind becomes conclusive. Arana Kuriya Vakka. Don't come up. Don't you sing, really? Arna Kuriyon. Don't manufacture ideas. That is dangerous. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches by his example. Guru Mare Murkha Dakhi Kuriyasan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to Purasana Saraswati that my spiritual master saw me. Fool number one. So he has chastised me. So don't try to read the dance. Chant Hare Krishna. Try and do. Yes. Yeah, he has come to this time. Yes. This sound is purposefully created. Yes, sir. Just to show that he has a motorcycle. Or what is the purpose? Have given us trouble sometimes. Huh? They have given us trouble sometimes. You want? No. You don't like us. They are doing better than before, but still they are somewhat in this. Everywhere. This world is like that. Even the father will give trouble, Prahlad Mohammed. 